Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. In this video, we're going to be covering the third type of noun, which is mansub, which is the maf'oolun fihi or the dharf. So the maf'oolun fihi or the dharf, both of which mean the same thing, just two different words to mean the same thing, is roughly speaking, a ism that is mansub that indicates a time or a place, like fawqa, which means above, tahta, which means below, amama, which means in front, ghadan, which means tomorrow, bukratan, which means tomorrow also, and then this goes on. Now, to go over the grammatical definition, linguistically, dharf means a container. So the dharf is called a dharf, grammatically speaking, because it's indicating that the verb happened in this quote-unquote container of makan, place, or this container of zaman. Because we covered that the dharf, the maf'un fihi, grammatically speaking, is an ism that's mansub that indicates a time or a place. So yani, what it does is that it, it's acting as if it was a container indicating that the verb or the action happened in this container of time or place. So to go over the grammatical definition here, if it's a dharf of zaman, an adverb, or a dharf of time, it's ism mansub yaduna ala zaman an fi. The definition will be that it's an ism, the dharf or the mafon fi is an ism, that's mansub yadullu ala zaman an fi'al. And it's indicating the time within which wukur and fi'il, the action took place, bi taqdirin fi. And we're going to assume that before this dharf, before the maf'un al fihi, there is the harv jar fi. It's assumed there because of grammatical reasons. So we'll say, for example, Sam al Muslimun al Yoma. The Muslims, they fasted. Okay, in what container of time? Al Yoma tari. So al Yoma is an ism, it's mansub. Fatha, and it's indicating the time within which the action took place. And we assume that before Al Yoma, there's fi. Yani Islam al Muslimun fil yawm. The Muslims, they fasted Al Yawm, yani today, yani in this day. Okay? If it's the dharf al makan or dharf al makan, it's the ism that's mansub. Same exact principle, but here it's indicating the place within which the action took place. And likewise, you're going to assume that before it, there's a harjar fi. So, laytu, I prayed. Okay, I prayed where? In what place? In what container of time? Khalfa al imam, behind the imam. So, khalfa is a dharf, more specifically, a dharf al makan. Why? Because ism, it's, it's mansub, and it's indicating the place within which the action took place place and we assume that before khalfa there is fi yani salaytu fi khalfa al-imam if you will okay i prayed behind the imam so this is the very brief sense is the maf'un fi slash dharf now the dharf of zaman is of two types concerning its arab concerning its arab its ending concerning its arab its ending the dharf of zaman can be broken down into two types what is mu'arab mansub what will be mu'ara, meaning that its ending can clearly change, it can accept that al-arab al lawdi and it's mansub. Yawma, ghadan, asinan, bukratan. It's going to be mu'ara and mansub. But there are some dhuruf, there are some dharf that are going to be mabni fi mahalli nas. They're going to be stuck on something, on a fetha or on a kasr or something like that, or on a dhamma if you will. But they're going to be in the position of nasab, like mundhu. Mundhu is mabni on a dham, it's saq on a dham, it never changes, but it's in the position of nasab. So it accepts al-arab and mahalli. Mata, same principle, it's mabni on a sukun, but it's fi mahalli nasab. MC is mabni on a kasr, but it's fi mahalli nasab. So sometimes you'll find a dharf that's ending with a dhamma, that's ending with a kasra, for example, like mundhu and MC, but it's still mansub in terms of its mahal, yani. It's taken an arab and mahalli of an nasab. The same can be said for dharf al-makan. A dharf al-makan can be mu'arab mansub, but like qabla, amama, fawqa, tahta, or it can be mabni on something like a dhamma or, or a sukun, but it's in the position of nasab. So haythu is mabni on a dham fi mahalli nasab. Same thing with huna. And same thing with ba'adu. Now note, certain dhuruf like qablu and ba'adu and khalfa can be mu'arab or mabni depending on the situation. This is important to understand. Sometimes you're going to find qablu and ba'adu, for example. Sometimes they're going to be mabni ala dham fi mahani nasb, but sometimes they're going to have a fatha at the end of it. And this goes back to details of grammar that are too extensive for this short video. So that in a very brief sense is 
and maf'oon fihi or al-dharf. It's one of the types of nouns that are mansub. It's either going to be mansub with an apparent fatha, like yawma, ghadan, asin, and bukratan, or it's going to be in the grammatical position of a nasib, but it's going to be mabni on, for example, a dhamma or a kasara. Uh, 